Hold up. What's going on guys, Rez here, and before I get into the video, as you can tell by the title, this is a little recruitment to my team, Revenue, and before I explain all this information for you guys, it's on screen and there is a lot of it, uh, I want to show you a clip from our promo so that if you join, you know what you're getting into. Quickly before you just listen to this part, I want to apologise for saying description whenever I was meant to say comment section. I've never done one of these before and I did have a few mess ups, so please excuse them. I am sorry for it, but whenever I said description, leave it in the description, I meant leave it in the comment section. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry that I did that. Now, time for me to explain what this is. So, to start off with, you can join without having to go for the little one week recruitment thing. If you have clips, or if you have recent designs, or if you have a speed art portfolio, or a recent edit that you've done, contact me on Twitter, or leave a link down in the description. I will just, um, like, just unclick it from spam, because it will go there. But I don't have them banned. Or you can contact me on Twitter using the clan tag RU1, and you can link it to me on there, adding me. My at is at O-R-E-Z, with two Ds, O-R-E-Z-double-D. And um, I will leave that down in the uh, description as well, or I will put an annotation on screen. I will contact you through Twitter or something like this. Let's get into the recruitment. So, it is open for everybody. It is multi-card, it is multi-console. So you can be PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, you know how it goes. And it is multi-card. It is also open for players, designers, and editors. So as a player, what we are looking for is we are looking for you to be different. We don't want you just playing a single card. You can play a single card. We don't have anything against that. Having multi-card variety like you play MW3, MW2 and Advanced Warfare, that is good. Because it shows that you have variety, you'll have a clip variety and it'll look great in uh, like montages and stuff. Like I said, we do not have a single problem with you just playing, say, Black Ops 2. Basically, the standards I'm going to go over because they're a bit, like, they're, not, they're not odd, but we believe, and I believe, me and Vitrick, both the leaders believe that in your introducing or your episodes, you can use whatever clip you want to if you like it. But the standard guideline for episodes is still like triple headshot feeds, quad feeds, 720s to 1080s and that kind of thing. No barrel stuffs, but for team targets, the overall standard for the team will be quad headshot feeds, five on screens, triple to quad collapse, triple headshot collapse and up. Trick shoulders will be 720s at distance and complex, same with 1080s and up. Wall bangs, the guy cannot be just behind the wall. Knifers, you can use quads, trip headshot feeds, and if there's any like huge amount of just spamming stuns and concussions and stuff in quad feeds and trip headshot feeds, they will not be usable, they will not be allowed. But if you hit five on screen or something like that, or the clip is really nice, we will excuse that, just because we don't like seeing loads of concussion spam. It just doesn't look nice, and I understand knife feeding is really hard, but we just do we don't want to see that, please. And then it's also open to red gunners. Red gunners, if you are playing hardcore, five on screen switches and up, uh, quad headshot feeds, and just any clips above that really are allowed. No, just five on screens, because it's way too easy to hit red gun clip in hardcore. But if you are playing core, five on screens are allowed, quad heads are allowed, uh, you know, just stuff like that. Or, you know, quads on twice to three times. Stuff like that will be allowed for team targets too. But like I said, whatever you want to use, as long as it's within the, like, base guidelines of trip headshot, feeds, quad feeds, 720s to 1080s, no barrel stuff, stuff like that. As long as it is in them guidelines, you can use whatever you want for your introducing. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave it in the comment section, because I know I'm not the best at explaining things. Now onto the designers. We just want you to be creative and be different. 
If you have a portfolio, feel free to contact me on Twitter and link me your portfolio or leave it down in the description. You can be a 2D or a 3D designer, we don't mind, but you can feel free to upload a speed art. If you have a recent one you have uploaded, link me your channel on Twitter or in the uh, comment section, please. Finally, editors must be able to motion track and bullet sync because I've seen a lot of editors in the past that cannot bullet sync or motion track and it looks terrible, so you have to be able to do that properly. And I put you have to be able to edit in at least two styles and by that I mean you can just edit really clean with no, not really much, you know, CC and stuff like this. And then you, you know, be able to edit in a slightly different way from that. So you can edit in two different styles, clean edits, and if you have a recent edit, please link it to me. Now if you don't have any recent clips at the moment, or you just want to go for the mini recruitment challenge just for a bit of fun, the guideline is going to be the 1st of August, which is about a week, and the clan tag I'm going to want you to have is R1. You have one week to hit clips, guys. No setup clip. No setup clips will be allowed. No aimbot. Nothing like that. We will be checking. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. If you go for the recruitment challenge, good luck. If you send me any edits, designs, or clips, then also good luck. I will be speaking to you guys soon. All the links for everything will be in the description, so make sure you check it and have fun and enjoy it. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.